Welcome to Macy's Cooking Corner. My name is Richard Dogan and I'm filling in for Aqua Danes today who's on a little vacation. We're here with our special cook whose name is Rhett Norton and he's going to make us some really tasty meals and I'm excited to be here to help out hmm. and hopefully I don't get into his way too much because he's taller than I am. <laughs> Okay, now you've been on the show before. Yeah, this is my second time. Thanks yeah. for having me again. Okay, and your ratings were good on the first show. Oh, that's great. I didn't know that. <laughs> well, that's why we got you back. <laughs> Whether again. they were or not, I'm back. That's so. right. Anyway. <laughs> so good. Okay, so why don't you tell us what you uh, would like to make for us? Yeah, so we're going to make a couple of easy, simple recipes that are really popular that you could use for breakfast or for snacks. My kids like them for desserts as well. The first one's called uh, chia pudding. And again, chia seeds are, are in both these recipes. We're going to use these chia seeds but they're, they're super healthy. So, I mean, one tablespoon of chia seeds has like three grams of protein. So some people are like, oh, I gotta eat my meat to get protein. Hey, this is one way that you can get your protein and just get a healthy bit of fiber. The fiber in here is pretty good. I think it says somewhere. Five grams of fiber in one tablespoon, 2.5 grams of omega-3. So, so good stuff. So what we're gonna do is start with the chia pudding. And uh, we're first gonna start with these bananas. Do you wanna help me open a banana? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Everybody there? Yes. Oh, wait. No. Chia or how pudding. about this one? Don't give me a problem. I know how to use this. Sure. We should put these on the ground, oh. see if he slips. Oh, mine open backwards. That's how the monkeys do it, you know? They open them upside down. They, wow. pull, off, they pull off the top. That's like, a good trick. They pull off that. They pull off that. And then, yep. Okay, in here? Yep. Pop it in there. Okay. I'm just going to mash this up. I think it's a potato masher, not a banana masher, but that's what I was gonna say. That's it works. So when we make this, sometimes we we mash the bananas up like till they're just mush. But some people, sometimes you might like chunks of bananas. Um, it is a pudding, so it's gonna get a little thicker, but that's probably good enough for there. A little bit of chunk, a little okay. bit of mash. So let's just while you're doing that, I'll yeah, just yeah. dip that toward this camera so we can see where it drops. Good. Okay, so now we're gonna put in some chia seeds. So where's our pet? You have to grow it. Ch -ch -ch yeah, chia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, which pet did you get those chias off of? So there's one. It's like pepper to me. Two. Three. Okay. And a four. four. So th that's a lot of seeds. Okay, so if I eat the whole thing, I would get 24 grams of protein. That's, yeah. Which Excellent. is pretty good, right? Yes, that is. For if you're trying to get some protein in your diet. Okay, milk. We're going to put in uh, one and just a little bit. One and a half cups, one and a quarter cups. Kind of depends on how thick you want it. But I'm just going to do, whoop, I'm going to first that try and pour in the cup instead of on the counter. So this is like a skim milk. Is that good? or? If you like skim milk, I guess. So in my house, we've got a couple kids that don't like milk. So we use soy milk. And oh. or rice milk, which work fine with this recipe. I like cashew milk. So. I've never had cashew milk. Oh, yeah, delicious. is it good? Yes. Okay, and then will you find the vanilla? And we need some cinnamon over there. I guess I should have worn my glasses. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. Vanilla. Vanilla. You can get this at Macy's. <laughs> yes, you can. And then we also need some cinnamon. If you want to see if you can find that. Cinnamon. While I'm pouring the vanilla. Saigon cinnamon at that. Yes. We okay. spare no expense here at the Macy Cooking Imported, Corner. Imported, huh? Vietnam. Yep. How much was that? That was one half teaspoon of vanilla. And then we're just going to do That's a couple. Good smelling vanilla. Yeah, it's good. Okay. We're just going to do a little bit of cinnamon. And I'm just going to do a couple of pinches. A couple of dash splashes oh, in there. Not much. Not much. Just, just for a hint of okay. something. And then we'll just mix it up. So the chia seeds, uh, if you're not familiar with them, they actually soak up the water. They soak up whatever liquid they're in. So in this case, the milk, they're really, uh, when I exercise, I put a couple of tablespoons of chia seeds in water and just drink it down before exercise, gives you energy, but they, they, they get really thick. And so this, this kind of mushy, watery mixture is gonna thicken up because the chia seeds will start to thicken and absorb the milk okay. and give it the consistency of pudding. I like tapioca. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And that's it. That's your, uh, so now we do. That's it. That's, that's a, you can drink it down right now. No, what we're going to do no, is I we're going to, <laughs> we're going to put this in the fridge. Uh, you oh. should put it in the fridge for like two hours 
but we're, we're just going to put in while we're here. We'll oh, we see. don't tell them that. This is TV. We're going to put it in for two hours. Exactly. And, <laughs> and then you'll have some pudding. And Again, my kids love this for desserts. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Breakfast. This is going to turn into pudding. Pudding. Like thick. Thick pudding. Dig it with a spoon. Dig it with a spoon. Yep. Okay. And again, remember, you got see that. a couple bananas. You've got four tablespoons of chia seeds, some milk, some cinnamon, some vanilla. So that really, there's no sugar. It's just healthy stuff, and it yeah. tastes great. I don't know. It sounds like a science experiment. Yeah, uh, you shall see. Okay. I'm okay. Pop we'll, this in the. In we'll the put that in the fridge. I'm going to put it in the freezer and see if it in makes it go faster. Okay. Anyway, while don't that's that in there, we're going to take a little break, and we'll come right back. Welcome back to Macy's Cooking Corner. I'm in the kitchen here with Rhett Norton, and we have already done a chia pudding and put it in the refrigerator. And it's been in there about an hour. We'll get to it pretty soon. But now we've got another recipe. What have you got for us, Rhett? Now we're going to make what is called trail mix cookies. And you might, it's called a cookie, but it's really healthy. Like I eat these for breakfast. And if you're wondering if a, you can make a healthy cookie, like that sounds like an oxymoron, you can. Uh, I, I work a lot with the scouts and I would take these on campouts or just activities and the scouts who are like, you know, compared to their licorice and their Doritos, they would eat these and like them. So, so it's, wow. it's, it's a wonder they taste good and they're healthy. Well, I'm waiting to see that then because most of those things I eat taste like sawdust. Well, we'll find out. Yeah. So I'm going to start with some flax seed. If you'll pass me that. Flax seed. So you want to open that, that lid camera? to me? No. Yeah. Oh, I got it. I got you. Yeah. It's okay. brand new. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in just one tablespoon of flaxseed. This is ground up flax seed. Um, and so the same with similar to chia seeds, when you get flax seed that's ground up like this wet, what it does is it thickens. And so this is going to function as an egg substitute. You can zip that up for me. I'm going to okay. get some water for myself zip, real zip. quick. Maybe zip, zip. There's this one I tablespoon can't do of water. There we go. And there's this. You're putting in tap water? Yep. Aren't we trying to be healthy? Like, <laughs> should we put in bottled you water? Didn't, you didn't bring my filtered water, so. Yeah, that's what I'm that's, drinking. That's what it's we're limited to. Water. So you can see, it's just kind of, this is going to thicken up a little bit. Okay. Um, we'll just set that aside for, for a minute yep. while that thickens. And then in the meantime, we're going to need some oats if you open that up. Okay. What kind of oats we got here? It's not labeled. Those are, those are just rolled oats. Rolled so, oats. Like rolled? Yep. Okay. Yep. I'm trying to help. Yeah, help, open that up. I'm trying to be in the way as much as possible. While you're opening that, I'm going to grab the blender. So what we're going to do uh, is we're... Do you mean I'm taking too much time? Is that yeah. what you're saying? Can you go a little faster, please? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. I want a cookie. <laughs> cookie. Ah. So uh, one cup of rolled oats, and we're going to pop in the blender. And if you put oats in a blender like that, you can gonna turn this on. And what we're going to do is we're going to make some oat flour. Quick and easy way. If you have oat flour, you could just use that. But this, hey, we're going to make our own, right? Get ready for it. That's all we need. Amazing. It is It is flour. oat flour. A little, little chunky, but that's fine because we're going to put it in the cookie, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. And now if you find the almonds, the whole almonds, they're in the front there, yep. we're going to do the and same that. thing. I got it. Uh, those are slivered almonds. We need the whole almonds. Oh, okay. Right there, yep. Okay. So these have holes so in them, right? Pop and lift. How cute. <laughs> That's why I brought it. I want to show everyone a cute container. I'll just container. sit here and play with this. <laughs> okay. So we're going to put in half nice. a cup of almonds. And if you'll put that lid on there and pop that down. <laughs> <laughs> Should we let him come back? <laughs> oh, okay. what do you want? Okay. You pop oh, that on there. So now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make almond. It's called almond meal. You just kind of blend it up. It doesn't have to be perfectly fine because we're going to put more almonds in here. But it's just, actually, I'm going to do a little more. I want a okay. little less chunky than that. Mm. 
Is it trail mix usually big chunks of things so that it's chewy? We will have chunks. Oh, okay. So this is just, it's called almond meal. It's kind of like, almost like a flour consistency. Yeah, it looks just like that. Just a little but a little thicker. Browner. Yeah. You don't want to go too long with your almonds because if you do it, they'll turn to almond butter. So, because the oils will release. So we're done with the blender now. You can take that away. Hmm. So does that work with milk? Can I make butter with this? Uh, yeah. Okay. If you put some cream in there, right? Isn't that what butter mm -hmm. is? Cream? Not milk. No. Not milk. No. Probably not. Hey. Okay. So now we need some more rolled oats. Sorry. We open that up again. What? I know. Okay. Here you I go. I got to make sure you're getting your. You do it faster. <laughs> okay. Twist. Okay. This is where the chunky comes in. We're just going to put in half a cup of rolled oats, and then if you'll wait get the. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You you. Pulverize some. Yep. And now you're not going to pulverize these. So when you're you not make being an equal opportunity here. <laughs> when you make cookies or you make cake, you need you need like a, a base. Normally people put in flour. You can see this. This is our flour. We made flour out of almonds and oats. Right. Just to keep it healthier. I mean, oh. you could use like pure wheat flour, but that would change the taste. So this keeps the taste similar because we're using the same ingredients. Okay. But it gives you the the texture and consistency that we want to make our base for the so cookie. Wheat does not make a good tasting. Well, I mean, you said every the ones you've tried taste like what do you call it? Glue, sawdust, <laughs> sawdust. Sawdust. We don't want to taste like sawdust. We want it to taste good. Okay. Just okay. Kidding. So now we need our sliced almonds. You had oh, those okay. a second ago. Okay, I know ago. where those are. Okay, and we're just gonna slice almonds. We're gonna do half a cup of that too. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We already got some almond butter here. No, no, we didn't get almond butter. We got almond, what's it called? Flour, what do you call oh, it? Oh, flour. Okay. Close, it was close to flour. I was gonna say, it's like almond meal is what it's called. Some. So we just put in half a cup of slivered almonds, and now we want some shredded coconut. It's that white one there. Okay, we like coconut. Ah, oh, see, I know how to do this now. Ta-da! <laughs> you can be taught. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to put in a fourth cup of this shredded coconut. Did you hear what he said? <laughs> can't teach old dogs new tricks. Did you hear him say that? I pretty much said that, yeah. word okay. for word. Is that all you need? Uh, from that, yes. Okay. Now we need some brown sugar. <clears throat> so I can't make any jokes about this. Brown sugar so is what they make chocolate chip cookies from. <laughs> it's important. So because it is a cookie, we want it to be sweet. So it's just a little, four, one fourth cup of uh, brown sugar. And then our, the other sweetener we're going to use is uh, maple syrup. So not too much though. We're going to use the coconut and everything else to sweeten it. A little bit of chocolate chips. Okay, now we need some sunflower seeds. Oh, Kay. not the maple syrup no, yet. No, that's you coming last. We're talking about it. We're talking about that. Okay, so sunflower it's seeds. seed I time. Saw those. There so we go. this recipe has a lot of ingredients, as you guys can see. Yep. But it actually goes in pretty quick because it's mostly the same measurement. So we're going to do two tablespoons. Oh. <laughs> hey, whoop, whoop. That's going to wet. I'm going to flick it off. Okay. So two tablespoons of sunflower seeds. Put in three. No, two. Okay, like Clo close that up. Seeds. And then okay. find the sesame seeds if These you will. These are not salted either, right? Nope, those are just and they're pure. Not cooked. Nope, raw sunflower seeds. Raw. We could have we could have a chia pet and a sunflower seed pet. Cool. But not. We're gonna do the sunflower uh, wouldn't be taller. <laughs> it probably would be. Take longer to grow too. Sorry. What do you want? Uh, sesame seeds and then chia seeds. I got the chia right here, so I'm gonna go for that. And again, this is two tablespoons, so it's nice, same measurement. One. Ha! Those are not this kind of sesame two. seeds I've seen before. Oh, no wonder they're grandma's. They're not on your hamburger bun, is that what you're saying? Yeah, the ones on my hamburger bun are much bigger than that. <coughs> and then we're going to do two of these as well. Two tablespoons. Uh, almost two, let's try that. Okay. One. One. Dos. Two. Oh, cheat. Some. Okay. I'm just going to tip this a little bit. See that mess in there? Isn't that awesome? So you got some white and brown and black and... Just a mixture of healthy goodness. A little something, yeah. Okay, here's this. Uh-oh, I think this is dried. It, it has thickened up. It's done its job. Okay, now we need salt, baking soda, and baking powder. Cinnamon. Okay, so these... Okay, good. It's not pink, but it is sea salt. And it's got some little black things in it. Yeah, one of my daughters wanted to know what would happen if we put pepper in the salt. Oh, did you try that? Tried it. Did you like it? <laughs> it turned uh, our salt into salt and pepper. Exactly. I yeah. mean, you usually put them both in anyway, Yeah, right? it saved us quite a few steps because now we're just one at a time. Okay, half a teaspoon of salt. And then we're gonna do the same for the baking powder and the baking soda. 
There you go. And then you can find the baking powder for me. Oh, sorry. He needs to get on it, doesn't he? Baking powder. Baking powder. It's really good for keeping you dry. I know. He uses it for deodorant every day. What's that smell? Baking powder. <laughs> okay, baking powder. Fresh from the kitchen. And then uh, now we need some cinnamon. We already did cinnamon. No, we didn't. That was the last recipe. Oh! Touche. It's in the front. Okay. Saigon. Saigon cinnamon. Okay. So, so you like Saigon cinnamon the best? Um, I don't know. Oh. I just like this because it's potent. Oh. I don't have. I haven't tried many other cinnamon, so. Well, we're doing three fourths teaspoons. Say, do you like deviled eggs? Is this a joke? No. <laughs> Why do you think everything I say is a joke? <laughs> uh, no, I don't. <laughs> you don't? Anybody in the audience who like deviled eggs? You do? Okay. So you take the yolks and you smash them up, a little sure. mayonnaise and different things, uh -huh. and then you put them back in the, the halves. In the right? egg, yeah. And then you usually put a little bit of uh, paprika uh -huh. on the top, right? Never, you don't do that? Oh. We've I, had those before. Yeah, they're okay. Okay. Do not accidentally put cinnamon on them. He speaks from experience. Tastes very good at all. Third anniversary when I got married. Third. Okay. So, um, <laughs> now that we've taken a step back in time and learned about deviled eggs, so there's so there's all your ingredients. We're just gonna mix these up, kind of blend it up, just to get our mixture going. You can see it's just. Perfect. Yeah, bunch so of bunch of healthy audience. goodness right here. And you can see when it blends up, it's not overpowered by any one seed or any one item. It's just kind of a hmm. nice little mixture of healthy food. Looks like my breakfast cereal. It could be breakfast cereal. Yeah, and you will see this is why this makes a great breakfast, a great snack, a great dessert, just because it doesn't, you know, you eat this first dessert and you don't feel like you had a donut or something, you know, something weighs you down. like you've been out you on feel the trail. Great. Yeah, like you went hiking or hey. something. Howdy okay. cowboys, let's hit the trail. Okay, now we're gonna do our wet ingredients. So we're actually just gonna put them right in this bowl okay. with our, our substitute egg there, which you see, okay, this is the experiment. Let's see if okay. it's, yep, it's thickened up. Okay, it's ready. Okay. And for our next magic trick. <laughs> oh. We need some coconut oil, which is that big one there. Whoa. Yes, coconut oil is good. Mm -hmm. So instead of using uh, canola oil or olive oil. I guess olive oil will be okay. We're just gonna use some of this coconut oil, which gives it, you notice we put shredded coconut in here earlier. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna help the same similar flavors and yet give us kind of the, the oil that we need for our recipe. And it keeps it tropical. Yes. Coconut. coconut is actually really good for you. Yeah. No, I, I really love this stuff. In fact, eating this just raw is good for you. Should we see if you'll take a bite of it raw? You want to see? No, let's not. Okay. Let's get the almond butter. We'll do that on the next bloopers. <laughs> almond butter. Okay. Almond butter. So this this is what it turns into when you blend it too long. Okay. Like peanut butter? I like cashew butter better. But and this okay. is, uh, the nice thing about this one, it's really runny. That's how you want it. You want oh. the consistency to be kind of runny because then it gives. Okay. I could not may have a sandwich made out of that because I know it would drip all over my face. Oh, that's when it's the best. Okay, so we're gonna put in one fourth cup of almond butter. I'm just gonna kind of dish it in here carefully since yeah. I've got coconut oil in there. Let's see here. The suspense. Yeah. The beauty of it all. All right. Okay. You did that pretty well. Not bad. I, I didn't I before. didn't spill once. Imagine that. Okay. Almond butter done. Now we need some more vanilla. More? Yes. We already put some in, didn't we? Oh. That was the last recipe. I know. The last recipe. I don't know. These recipes just kind of seem the same. They kind of blend together, don't they? Yeah. One teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to let you put the lid back on. Well, thank you. You're welcome. I enjoy doing that. And then now we're ready for the ma maple syrup. Maple syrup, please. Maple syrup. Okay. Have you ever tried almond butter? Here's your chance, right there. Okay, I've, I've had it before. Oh, you just tripped on yourself. Oh, you're tripping oh, on my machine? Oh no, not on the machine. Not right down the hole. 
Tastes good. Go ahead. It's a good tasting machine. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put in a fourth cup of maple syrup. Wait a minute. What am I gonna do with this? You're supposed to eat it. You're supposed to clean it off. So as you, as you noticed, the sweetener here, one fourth cup maple syrup, mm -hmm. syrup mm -hmm. and it was okay. You like it? Yeah. Sorry. So one fourth cup opinion. maple syrup, and then we put in one fourth cup of brown sugar too, and that's all we use for sweetener. So just a little syrup. You ever use molasses? Um, it's okay, but I don't like the flavor. I use it. I haven't used it in some cookies yeah. I've made. People are spoiled nowadays. I know. Back in my day, we didn't have these sweeteners. You had to walk uphill molasses. to get it both ways. Man's little baby loves shortening, shortening with molasses on it. Uh, it's before my time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So here's our our dry mixture, or our wet mixture. Okay. And now that that's mixed, we're just gonna take this and we're gonna combine them. Do you have a, like, a, oh, this rub come out okay. With my fork. Do you have like a spatula I could scoop it out with? No, but I'll look for one. Mm. Nothing, I'll just use that spoon. There we go. Yeah. All right, perfect. Toss that. All right, let's get some more of this. If you don't have it all, it doesn't mix quite the same. So, Rhett, so who first invented trail mix bars? <laughs> um, okay, I didn't know. Someone on the trail, obviously. I just thought maybe you knew. No. <laughs> History of trail mix bar. Okay. Actually, maybe I'll start up with that. Okay. Okay, so now we have our wet and our dry, and we're just going to mix this until it starts to thicken up a little bit. And it should be the consistency of, like, dough almost. Like Play-Doh? <laughs> yeah, you I can play with it. I Play-Doh when I was a kid. This will We'd taste much better than Play-Doh. Different things and eat them. This might take a little while because, again, it's supposed to be thick. You know what? We didn't start the oven. How fast did your oven preheat? Oh. Preheat yeah. oven to 300 degrees. Luckily, this is a television oven, and it will instantly be hot. Excellent. And I know how to use this oven. Bake. Boom. Yeah. You don't have to push start. I finally learned that after, like, three shows. All right. It's getting there. It's still coming. Mm -hmm. I'm mixing it with a spatula, so it's a little slower. Oh, hey, so where's the M&M's? Oh, chocolate. We didn't put in the chocolate, did we? No. Let's put some of those in. There it is. Chocolate chip. Um, okay. Yeah, the one thing we forgot. Three tablespoons. Here, I'll let you do that while I keep mixing. Okay. Three of the big ones? Three tablespoons. Oh, tablespoons? Yeah. Three <laughs> teaspoons. Three te just three teaspoons. Okay. One tablespoon is three teaspoons. We need three tablespoons. Well, make up your mind. Three, three tablespoons. Did he say tablespoons? I said I've been saying three tablespoons this whole time, right? Nice. Now, is that three as in base ten, or is that three and in base two? It's one to the third power. Okay. Just kidding. That's not. Is that enough? Yeah, that's good. Okay. I was teaching my students how to do mathematics in binary today. You know, there's only two people who understand binary. binary. No, there's three. Oh, there's three. That's right. There's three. <laughs> <laughs> or as we say in the math word world, there's three kinds of people in the world. Those that can count and those that can't. I must be in that third group. Why are, we, why are we talking about math while we're cooking? Because we have to measure things. We need to know. Oh, is it one or math three? Numbers and measurements, right? Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So I think we're about ready. It's kind of got a good, thick, sticky consistency. That does look good. In fact, you want to try some? Oh, uh, no. I, d I never eat raw stuff. It's not raw. There's no eggs in it. It's just. Has it been cooked? But, but look, could, look at the ingredients. It could have a disease in it. No, no. <laughs> you got to cook the diseases out. There is no disease in this. 
He must be right. He's tall enough, right? Mm, that's good. You could eat it raw like that because there's nothing, there's no milk, there's no eggs. It's just, hey. But, so now I'm going to wash my hands and then we're going to make them into cookies. Okay. Uh, and then, um, while he's doing that, we're going to take a break. So stay tuned for the next part of our Macy's cooking corner. Welcome back to Macy's Cooking Corner. We're here with Rhett Norton, and he's been making us delicious raw stuff. Except raw. I think you're going to cook this one, right? We're going to cook it. Yes, we are. It's not like you're really going to cook it. You're going to kind of like dry it. Um, well, we're going to put it in the oven. I think that's going to cook it. Mostly. What temperature? 350. We're going to oh, dry that's it. that's cooking then. Yeah, that's 350. Anything over 115 is cooking. Yeah. Okay. Now you know. Did you know that? I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you, if you heat things up to under 115, it's it not. still keeps its proteins and nutrients and mm. stuff. Once you get over that, it starts destroying those. So we're going to destroy some proteins in just a few minutes here. It should be exciting. See, now he said this was going to be healthy, and now he says we're going to cook it and destroy it. Well, you could eat it raw, but what we're going to do is we're just going <laughs> to make them into little balls because they, they're, if you give someone a raw ball of goo and say, ah, we've been thinking about you, here's your trail mix goo, not quite the same. Trail mix cookie, they're like, yeah, let's eat a cookie. So just a little, almost small, just a little smaller than a golf ball. If you want a big cookie, you can go a little bigger. But we're just gonna put these on here. So, is it like cookies? You put them in a ball, and when they cook, they they flatten out. I think you'll have to wait to see for yourself. Ooh, the suspense! <laughs> no. We are ready for this. If I told you everything, what would you stick around for? Uh, if you told me everything, then I would know everything you know. Right. <laughs> and I, you don't know what's gonna happen with these cookies, which is I the most don't. important part. No. But I'm going to stay and watch. We might need one more tray of cookies. Do you want to find another tray for me? Or should we just... <laughs> well, okay. So I'm assuming then from what he's saying that these are going to smear it out because otherwise he could just put more in between. You know, the pathway to someplace bad is paved. Oh, no, that's with good intentions. With trail mix? Not with assumptions. <laughs> oh. <laughs> bad quarter of the day. Okay, I'll find another one. Okay, then. Just don't look at the back of my head. <laughs> okay. Ooh. That's not the. Did you have anything better? Okay. Okay. Uh, a little better. Not not bad. Hey, I'm proud. Carl Malone is bald in the back of his head too. Oh, you probably don't know Carl Malone is before you I know who Carl Malone is. Oh. <laughs> Sheesh. Okay, you want to slide that over for me? Okay, what? We're just gonna... This? Yeah. Or this? Yeah, that. Okay. So they start, start sticking to your hands. You just rinse off your hands once if you need to. Or wear gloves. Or just eat it because it's lick your raw. Fingers. Huh. Yep, lick your fingers. Don't tell your family. Just keep making them with, after you lick your fingers. That's what I do, kids. Well, you're going <laughs> to cook it and kill the germs anyway. <laughs> right. We're going to kill the right. stuff we licked off on our fingers. Do not attempt that at home, though. Only professional. I'm going to rinse this off real quick, though, because it's too sticky. Okay. I'm not going to touch it. Wait a minute. Okay. Same as sweet. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that that dark chocolate's terrible stuff. It tastes like mud. It's healthy for you, though. Yeah. Cho you know where the cocoa That's why comes I put from, right? Capsules. <laughs> no. You know where the cocoa comes from, right? True Can question. Can you say that on TV? <laughs> the cocoa bean. Yes, cocoa beans. Yes. Where do cocoa beans come from? Is that a joke? No. <laughs> <laughs> South America. Yes. Where does South America come from? That's a good question. <laughs> well, I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to add some more chocolate to this one right here. It's the lucky winner. Yeah, a few more on top there. Okay, so you made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, so about one and a half dozen. Okay, so now we just throw them in the oven. Oh, I don't think you're going to throw them. You stand back there, I'll catch. Yeah, I was going to say, don't do that at home either. Do you want to pop them in there? And don't do like he did last time, throwing the pizza against the, the cup. 
covers. What did I do last Bad time? Bad idea. What did I do? Remember, you're making the, the pizza, the spaghetti stuff. Uh -huh. Oh, the, the test to make and sure it's, it's done. You right. throw it at the counter. Well, that's I had to spend a half hour cleaning <laughs> those counters after the show. That's how you check if the cookies are done, too. So which wall should we throw them at? No, let's. Uh, which think, audience member do we throw them at? Oh, this is, no, that's the part where they open their mouth and we just. Yeah. It's like. Uh, play, yeah. Okay, so we're going to put uh -huh. these in here. Put those in there. So it's and I'm verifying he actually did put them in the oven and the oven is the oven is on. So okay. now we wait is we wait for 13 to 15 minutes. Okay, we'll be back in 13 to 14 minutes. So stay tuned and see how the mystery comes out on Macy's cooking corner. Okay. Welcome back to Macy's cooking corner. I'm here with Rhett Norton who has been cooking us delicious, healthy, fast things. <laughs> Thanks. Food. <laughs> Food. And uh, we are going to find out the mystery now of, of the what cookie. happens to these when they're in the oven. Let's find out. Whether they stay in the ball, whether they flatten out. Oh, they're gone. Oh, <laughs> we ate them all. Okay, there, there we go. Have. So, hey. It's a cookie. So they did kind of flatten out a little bit. Yeah. Okay. And there's a couple little ones. And uh, the chocolate doesn't really look melted. That's good. Yeah, not too so bad. It's keeping the shape of that. I hope you can see that. Okay. How long does it take for them to cool down? A couple minutes. Okay. Be good. Yeah. Okay. So I know we have people in the studio audience that are just dying to try one. <laughs> and if you eat one, you might die. No. No, you won't die. No, they're good. Okay. Well, good. Should we? Should we uh, what should we do? Should we put them on a, a plate? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Let do you have one handy? Plate under here under plates. <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, not. There okay. we go. There we go. Do you have rolls. a spatula? Here, I'll hand that to you. Okay. We'll see if we can get a spatula. Yeah. All right. Let's put some of these okay. on there. Probably need to let them cool down just a little bit so they don't break, but we're just going to go for it. Yeah. Well, mostly I just don't want to burn my tongue. Oh. Ah, see, the, the bottom part is nice and brown, not burnt. I like that one. Good thing you showed that like, like that. That's yeah. going to be a good looking plate. Plate of cookies. Can't go wrong there. No. Cookies. Yeah, they, they get harder as they cool, so some of these might break a little bit. Sure. But that's all right. there that one crumbled so here we have our cookies on a plate so you can see they really look like cookies but they still look like trail mix too okay now you say these are healthy hmm? <laughs> they are healthy you saw what went into them <laughs> seeds <laughs> almonds okay. oats so are we ready to hand one out to the studio audience do you dare no. anybody dare come get one no. okay here Go ahead and try one. Careful, it's hot and crumbly. Oh. They didn't cool down very much. Okay, good. <laughs> well, she's just making it back into a ball again. <laughs> Come on up, come on. Yeah, when you make him let them cool for like three to five minutes on the pan. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So anyway, I gotta take a little taste. Okay, because I am a condesor of these kind of things. Condesor? Yes. So. That's very condescending. <laughs> so the first thing, of course, is you swish it around. Yeah, naturally. And then you have to smell it. Okay. So it's got a good bouquet. Yep. Okay. And then a little bit on the back of my tongue. Swish it around. No, good. Not okay. sawdust? They are crunchy. No, they're not. <laughs> I can taste the oat. I can taste the chocolate, of course. So, yeah, that's okay. very good. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. That was really good. Good. You guys like it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. All you can just hang, pass it back out, but you'll have to wait till after the show. Okay, so that worked out well. What else did we have? A chia pudding. Oh, chia pudding. Okay. Should, Should we pull we it out? On that? Yeah, that's probably. Okay. We'll see if it's set up. Check that out. Grab a spoon, maybe. I don't know. It kind of looks the same as it did when we mixed it up. It's uh, a little thicker. It's uh... oh, it's thicker though. Okay. 
It just looks the same. And now you have a pudding. You know, it kind of looks like a really small tapioca. Yeah, kind of. That's yeah. what the chia is. And it'll even thicken up a little bit more. Like, mm -hmm. we didn't leave this in there the full time, but it will be as thick as you want it to be. Okay. Thickens up a lot. Now, would you serve that with whipped cream on top? Well, if you want whipped cream on it, <laughs> yeah. Well, I put whipped cream on my pudding, don't you? No, I mean, this is just a healthy little treat, so. Okay. So you usually can eat that for breakfast? Yeah, breakfast. Uh, my family likes it for dessert after a meal, right. and it's a great little dessert because okay. it's nice and healthy. So you try it. Now, what's the white part here? That's the banana. Oh, that's right, banana. I forgot about the yeah, banana. bananas, little chunks of banana. Okay. Well, I can see how that would that would work out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me get a spoon. That. Uh, yeah, yeah. Grab a spoon. We'll give you a bite. Go for so, it. So, will I grow chia on top of my head now? No, it'll be in the inside. In the inside. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There we go. Now act like it tastes good. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. So the chia seeds are still crunchy, that, even though they've expanded. They, they'll be a little less crunchy if, if you let it in there the oh, whole time. Okay. Like we took it out a little early to so, show the audience, yeah. but. Didn't have much time. Yeah. No, but that is delicious. It tastes good. Are you just saying that? No, I'm not. I'm just saying it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just saying it. <laughs> I mean, I'm saying it, but... You are saying it. I'm saying it. He's Honestly, just saying it. It does taste good. My kids eat it, so that's gotta how you know it's good. good. It's got to be good. Well, we appreciate that, Rhett. Yeah. Good. Okay. There you have it. I well, appreciate that. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. You'll come back again, won't you? We shall see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> come up with some more jokes yeah. first. Huh? Right, I'm all out of jokes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Might take me a while. Okay. Well, on behalf of Rhett and I, thank you for watching Macy's Cooking Corner. And... Uh, and try to uh, come down to the Macy's in Spanish Fork when you have a chance on Thursdays at 7 o'clock and join us in the studio audience. Get your own taste of things right from the cook's mouth. <laughs>